GMFS, change your lives. GMFS. Hi, I'm Pamela Matassa with your Mortgage Minute update. The closing disclosure process can be confusing, so let me break it down for you. Your lender has the responsibility to disclose the accurate settlement figures to you. And there are some important steps that could cause a delay in the process if not followed precisely. Now, there are some small variations within each mortgage lender, but for the most part, the steps will remain the same. Unless your closing disclosure is hand delivered to you, you don't actually have to have a wet or actual signature to show that you've received the paperwork. In the case of GMFS, a loan originating system sends an email to the borrower letting him or her know the closing disclosure is prepared and ready for review. Opening the email is recognition of receipt, and once that happens, there is a federally mandated three-day wait period. This is part of the new TRID law. If there are many changes to the closing disclosure, a new set of disclosing documents may be necessary depending upon certain factors. Then here's yet another reason why the loan officer is crucial to you getting into your dream home. The mortgage lending company who prepares the closing disclosure cannot give your CD to the real estate agent because it includes details of the borrower's financing. The borrower is the only one who can actually give that information to the agent. So pick a loan officer and a mortgage lending agency you can trust. Customer service reviews are a great way to give validity to the agency of your choice. And for more lending tips on mortgages and more, go to gmfslending.com. GMFS, change your lives. GMFS, change your lives.